That's that situation of the match coming up next here on the stadium. In the stadium, on the stadium court. You know what's going to happen when this guy gets off the court, if he loses this match, everyone's going to ask him if he's going to retire. Sure. McEnroe had said coming into the U.S. Open, what would keep him around full time for another year or two is if he could get to the final of the U.S. Open or have, you know, you know or you know, win a Grand Slam or at least get to the final. Doesn't look like that. That's going to happen. Well, he said this is his last full year of competition for sure. Do you think it is? Yeah, I do. Uh, he'll he'll cut his schedule way back and hopefully try to play at Wimbledon and, and uh, try to play here. But it won't be with the same intensity, I don't think. I don't know. That semifinal at Wimbledon, that run he had at Wimbledon really encouraged him. Yeah, it did. And uh, that's what made him think that he had some pretty good chance at this year's Open. But grass is such a better surface for McEnroe at this stage in his career. The points are shorter. The grass is softer, tenderer on his body. His touch works a lot better on grass and on these hard courts where you can chase down all the shots. Don't forget what Isaiah Thomas said the other day. Age is not what it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. And Olhofsky said, life is life. Life is life. <laughs> That's over, over in the grandstand. The labor frontier over Cunningham, 6375. And also a fourth round match. Took an hour and 54 minutes. <laughs> so, Mary, there's the women's singles draw. It's hard not to. Uh... It's hard not to wonder if Magdalena Maleva, who knocked out Martina Navratilova, is going to make it uh, to the quarters where she'd have to play her 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 sister. Chanda Rubin, who is also having the, the tournament of her life. They play later today. Just 16 years old. Fault number six for McEnroe. Speaking of tournaments that are live, how about Patricia He defeated Capriati, then then uh, Sukova, two seated players. Now she's up against Celis. She took a set from Monica Celis at the Canadian Open. That was just a few weeks ago. Interesting goings on on the women's side. I'm not always able to say that after the first week there. It's been good. The other half of the women's draw. Sabatini and Mary Jo Fernandez have had some beauties. I... We're at break point here again, so McEnroe continues to struggle. Two and two. And that's Deuce here. This is the first game of the third set. Washington's match coming up next with LeCunt. And then we've got Pete Sampras, number three seed, against Guy Forget of France, who's seeded 13th. I got a 
feeling he didn't say happy birthday. It's the same old story. McEnroe has been complaining about the motor drives. Asking, rewinding the film. Yeah, he doesn't want the photographers to rewind their film until the changeovers. Five times he's been broken. Courier wins the first game with the third set. He's won the first two. Back at the National Tennis Center in Flushing Meadows, New York. Outside the stadium. Some White moments ladies. of relaxing White inside, ladies. not Thank a you. moment of relaxing for John McEnroe. Number one seed, Jim Courier. A powerful display so far. would like to have that opportunity a lot more in this match but the way Kerr has been serving he hasn't gotten to look at enough second serves that were short enough that he could attack off of it. First set career was just brutal, 89%. Second set, though, his serving dropped down to 65, which, of course, is still quite high. But at least Macron is getting a look at the ball, and he's able to come into the forecourt where he can White do some ladies. damage. Thank you. These were both the second serves. Courier misses his first serve in both points, and that's what Macro hopes he'll do. 15, 30. 15.30. Boy, Courier sets up so well for the smash. He set, he set it behind it. Now watch when he, this lob comes back. He sets up behind it and he shuffles in. His rackets gets up early. Watch as he slides forward. The weight's going into the shot. Really did that very, very nicely. Much the same as an outfielder might do. Right. When you got to make a throw home, yeah. It's so hard because you see McInerney in that, in that instance is a 101 mile an hour serve. He had played in close, hoping that he could chip something back and maybe come in behind it. We've already seen him try to play beyond the baseline, but from there he can't get in and into the net in time. And he's tried everything trying to get this serve back. Of course, it's not just getting it back, it's doing something with it so yeah. Curry doesn't jump all over you. Yeah, you give up the short ball against Courier, and you've really got no chance. No one's more aware of that right now than John McEnroe. Dish, good return. Give you an idea of the effectiveness of the courier first serve. When he gets his first serve in, he wins 91% of the points. Second serve, only 42%.
some terrific shots, McEnroe, to set that winner up. Watch all the good shots, the depth. And then the swinging high for in volley, but he had to make two or three other shots. Racket ready early, watches it closely. We don't recommend the club player take that kind of a big swing at the volley. McEnroe has the advantage. He's only had one break point before that one. 104 mile an hour serve, but beg your pardon, it was out. No, I think it was a let. I think it I think, was a let. Yeah, he's it's the first serve. See where McInerney was forced maybe three or four meters behind the baseline and and a guy's come to the net. I mean, he's doing the best he can do, but from back there, it's just so difficult to hope to make a pass. get into this game a little bit second break point of this game but only the third of the whole match Pat, here with 